Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. Uh, I seem to be a little bit out of focus for some reason. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my camera. Come on. Hello. You see my other... <laughs> the... There we go, okay. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm glad uh, I'm glad I can see me now and so can you. Hey Sneha, welcome. I saw my first like. That's a great like. Uh, so I have a very special blend today. Hey, Ma, welcome. Uh, I have a very special blend today. It's a little bit of a mystery. I'll talk about it uh, in just a second. Uh, but I'm doing a, a new tea that I've never tasted before. I just turned on my water. Um, I'm doing a new tea that I've never tasted before. And it's not something that I've never tasted before, but rather it's from a different company that I was not aware, uh, that I was not aware of that existed. Um, so the tea itself is a bit of a mystery. I'm not able to find much about, uh, Wally, welcome. Uh, I'm not very, <clears throat> I wasn't able to find very much information about the, uh, the tea itself. Uh, but I was able to find a lot more information on the actual company, which I find a little strange, but I'm going to go with it. Um, it's, today I'm doing, might as well start the introduction. Can't really read it, but I'm doing, uh, Rwandan Moon Mountain Tea. Now, I was under the impression that Rwandan Moon Mountain Tea was a flavor, but actually, um, Rwandan, uh, Rwandan Mountain Tea is a brand, and they're based out in uh, in Rwanda. What was it? The western, uh, blah, 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 nor the western and northern region, uh, in Kitabi. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm like just just. It's so hard for me to like memorize all of this information. <coughs> excuse, oh, excuse me. I'm still uh, battling that uh, that cold from last week. I'm doing a lot better now, um, but it's a little. Uh, a little tough on the pipes, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, so I was able to find more, um, more... Shanna, welcome! Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't understand why it stopped, uh, announcing when I'm going online. Um, I'm gonna have to, like, call their support or something to find out. Um, but anyway, uh, Anna, welcome! Welcome... <coughs> oh, I choked! <coughs> Oh, oh! Excuse me, <clears throat> I kind of choked there. I swallowed the wrong way. That's what she said. <clears throat> anyway, uh, hi, mom. You're here with mom. Uh, okay. Uh, either I have two moms, or uh, it's actually Teresa who happens to be visiting. But uh, I can't really tell at this point. So if it is you, Teresa, hi. If not, hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so I was looking into uh, the company itself. Yeah, I, I do have uh, a little bit of a bug. It's actually a lot better than it was uh, a couple days ago. So I'm on the mend, but... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's 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 getting a little uh, difficult. Oh, But anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, they're a company that... Oh, okay, there you go. Teresa with mom. Gotcha. Okay, uh, so anyway, they're a company that's uh, established in Rwanda... Um, and they are, uh, they are looking to, uh, cultivate the, the, the country along with their business and, uh, from what I gather, cause it, there's, there's just a little, like I, I'm on their website and there's not very much, uh, information about what, <clears throat> excuse me, what they're selling, uh, what the, what the products they have, they sell directly to, uh, to stores, so you can't buy from them. Um, they, they do have a, uh, they do have teas that they auction off in, uh, what was it, ma, 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 let me check that just in case, uh, it was under buy our tea, uh, Mombasa, that's what it was, they're in Mombasa market, um, they're, they are directly based in Africa, and I assume that they're doing what happened in India, <clears throat> Excuse me, where the tea was migrated uh, over uh, over from China and uh, Japan, and you know it's like it's it's being moved. Uh, well, I can't really say. Uh, well, I, I take that back. Not really migrated, but like um, adapted. Like it was in 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 England. I don't know. 
I never, I never did find out if uh, tea was ever grown in England, um, but it makes sense because uh, a lot of the the climate and uh, environment is um, is sustainable for tea in Africa. So I don't see why why they wouldn't have tea farms there. Uh, but it's it's what I'm assuming is like they're they're migrating it and bringing it in um, and just starting to cultivate it to help. Uh, to help build their business and to help with the uh, with the uh, society, I, I I read like they they do a lot of uh, they pay their taxes and stuff and and they they use that specifically to benefit their uh, their country and their um oh what is it called I I, I lost the page that I was on so I'm doing two things at at the same time. Uh, let me go down and quote it exactly. Uh, they are a large taxpayer and invest their profits in the country, thus contributing to Rwanda's economic development. I'm glad I was able to get that out in English. <laughs> I, was, I was failing miserably trying to explain it while uh, navigating the site. But just in time, uh, I have... Oh, my... I pulled out the, uh, the, the water because it's done, but I forgot to actually... Pour out the tea. <clears throat> so, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some in right now. Because I'm already a little bit behind. There we go. Uh, and that's not nearly enough. There we go. Much better. Yeah. So I have about uh, enough for two cups. Uh, but I'm only going to make one today. There we go. Now, I've, I've smelled it before. I'll, I'll, I'll smell it again. Now, it was really it was really hard to smell from the plastic bag. Uh, maybe I'll get some, get a little bit of luck smelling it directly. Okay, so it's got, <clears throat> it's, it's a regular black tea. But it's a little bit, uh, what was this? Are you going to the moon? If you drink this, let's hope so. I mean, if I get some, if I get some, uh, some high feelings from this. Uh, but it, it's, it's like a black tea and it's slightly smoky. Not as much as a Lapsang, uh, but it is, it is kind of close. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, now there were no instructions on how to brew this, so I'm going to do this as a regular typical black tea. And um, I'll do it for, for, for five minutes at 212 degrees. Uh, and hopefully this has a pretty good, uh, has a pretty good strength to it. Um, it didn't smell too strong, but it, it, it smelled like a general black tea. Uh, as long as I doesn't, uh, as he doesn't moon us, yeah, that would be uh, <laughs> the last time anybody watches my stream. <coughs> oh man, that would be awful. But yeah, that's. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, it is a little taxing on the pipes. Uh, and before I forget, Happy New Year, everyone! Uh, I, I'm glad that you all joined me for another uh, another year. That hopes that I hope to uh, I hope to be just as uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, impactful on your uh, on your uh, on your minds and. T educations, uh, as I was last year. Uh, I'm I'm always pushing to uh, to do it a little uh, do it a little more. Um, whew. so right off the bat, I I usually would start smelling the tea by now. Um, it's not very strong uh, as far as uh, as far as fragrance is concerned. Um, I do get hints of the black tea. It might not just be because I'm slightly stuffy, but like even when I had it right up against my nose, it wasn't too it wasn't too strong. Uh, I got the smoke from it more than anything else. So hopefully uh, this will this will be a stronger tea than it smells. Mm, excuse me, all this all this congestion is starting to <laughs> get a little bit uh, get a little bit uh, annoying. But what can I do? You know. It's, uh, it's, it is what it is. Uh, so looking at it, it's, 
it's expanding just like a regular uh, a, a regular black tea. Um, it's I, I'm already finding that uh, it has about almost doubled in size. Uh, what was this? Where do I where do I get this one? Uh, this was actually a gift from uh, from Shanna's parents. They brought it back from uh, from England. Um, I'm assuming that uh, the people who who with, with the people who own the shop where they bought it from bought it directly from uh, Rwandan Moon Mountain, um, and so you know they they brought it they bought it as a brand rather than uh, a flavor. So this is this is still a first for me because I've never had tea uh, that was grown in Africa uh, aside from uh, rooibos, which is specifically basically South African. Um, this one is supposed to be like an actual tea. Uh, for those of you who know uh, about rooibos, it's actually that's actually a uh, an herbal blend. It's not specifically a tea. This one looks. And smells exactly like a tea, so it. it I, I'm assuming that this is more authentic. Up oh, and there's Quackhead. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Wow, that is okay. Uh, shut my mouth. <laughs> this uh, grew a lot more than I thought it would. It more than doubled in size. I, I'll show you guys, uh, in a bit because, um, I, I just pulled it out. I need, I, I need to get it to stop dripping and stuff. Cause you guys know every time I try to show you, uh, what it looked like, I always make a mess on the floor and I'm trying to avoid that. Uh, so I'm going to let that dry out for a little bit and I'll go ahead and pour some of this out. And this is just in time because I've been drinking a lot of tea to get rid of this uh, this cold or whatever it is. It was never too strong. Mm, the cold it is. The cold, I, I mean. So right off the bat, it looks like a, a regular black tea. Oh, a little bit drippy. There we go. So you'll see it's a little bit... Uh, let me flip it over. Oh, there we go. Wow. It's a strong... Now I'm smelling it. It smells like like straight up black tea. Uh, it's not the darkest tea that I've had, but it is it is up there. Uh, you'll see in the middle, it's it's almost completely black. Um, I have to like shine the, the light directly into it so that you'll you'll see some colors. Uh, yeah, it is. It's really dark. Um... When you take a look at the outside, you have uh, the little ring that's brown, then it goes red into yellow. Um, so there is there's barely a contrast between the uh, the yellow and the and the clear. Uh, this is going to be a stronger tea than than uh, than it looks. Oh yeah, absolutely. It is like I don't know if uh, I guess the camera's not doing it justice, uh, but this is a super. It's a super black tea. So I'm assuming that uh, the, the aroma is going to be a little bit deceiving and it's going to have a stronger taste than I thought. Oh, this is going to be awesome. All right, here we go. Mm, it's, 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 a, it's got a nice wholesome scent to it. Yeah, I, I, I have an idea of what this is going to taste like, but here we go. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good. Like it's it's not exactly what I was expecting, but it's it's a good it's a good balance. Okay, so this is actually it's actually closer to a uh, an Assam. Uh, for those of you who have drank, uh, teas like English breakfast, um, and, and know the difference between English breakfast, Irish breakfast, and Scottish breakfast, this is actually close to a Scottish. Like, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty strong. Uh, it's, it's more smoky than, um, 
than I thought it would be. Um, it's still still not as smoky as um, still not as smoky as uh, as Lapsang, but this is a it's a really strong tea. Like I'm I'm wondering if I put too much tea in there to begin with because it is it's kind of strong. Uh, but it's also it's also really smooth. Uh, there are some strong black teas that go down bitter. This is this is uh, it's got a really good even taste. Now the Assam usually has like a um, a really really uh, how do I put this like a deep dark strong flavor. Um, this one has that same level, but like. It's it's kind of got like a very very small hint of wood and berry at the end of it. Um, well, I don't want to. I don't really want to say berry. What's the word? Like a <clears throat> like it, it's a fruit, but like a savory kind of fruit. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's um, I want to say like a date. Or or a raisin or something like that, but think of like a really super strong raisin, you know, where you taste that that tanginess. It's uh yeah, it is smoother than Assam. Assam tends to be um, strong and, and hits you hits you hard. This one is strong, but it's 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 smooth going down. Um. <coughs> This tea, it's it's definitely like got all the properties of a black tea. Uh, there's there's no way to there's no way around it. <clears throat> Need a little to soothe my throat there. Now, generally, there's one thing that um, that I don't like about Ceylon. Uh, and it has a little bit of that quality where uh, I get the feeling that if you let it get cold, it'll turn bitter. And that's what I'm going to try to uh, try to avoid because something like that can really uh, can really ruin your experience uh, if you don't know uh, if you don't see it coming. So thankfully, you know, I've had a lot of experience. I know uh, I, I know what to expect as it cools down. I think that. This one is going to be at best when it's hot, because uh, when it cools down, it'll turn bitter. It'll turn uh, kind of soapy, um, and it'll it'll just like, bleh, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is I'm going to try to avoid that because I don't want my first experience of uh, Rwandan Mountain Moon Mountain tea to uh, be be uh, marred. I guess. Uh, I have had bad experiences with tea. Yes, I am sure. You guys have all seen me drink uh, Earl Grey, and you know I I don't prefer it much. Um, but this one I think is uh it's it's not going to get to that point. Uh, because it's like I I I I know that it's probably best to drink fast. Um. Plus, like the uh, the room is nice and chill, um, and it's gonna. I'm 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 really enjoying the environment right now. Uh, so this is conducive to uh, to a tea drinking experience. Um, believe it or not, the temperature of a room can will make you like or dislike a tea, and that's that's uh, that's what I've always found fascinating, is that if you can pair the the uh, the room with the tea that you're in, you have it made. Because, I mean, everybody thinks, okay, you can drink tea with food, you can drink tea with dessert, you can drink tea, uh, pair it with a lot of different foods. But you really don't consider pairing a tea with the room that you're in and pairing a tea with the weather outside. Um, but that is a thing. Because there are some teas... Like for example, easiest 
easiest thing to uh, to imagine. You're drinking a really, really strong chai in the middle of, of summer. You know, and it's like, why are you doing this to yourself? You drink a hot tea on a hot day that's, that's spicy, so it's making you sweat um, and you're uncomfortable. That kind of a thing can uh, can can take a can take an uh, can take an effect. So when you're drinking uh, a hot tea in a cold room, it tends to uh, sorry, <laughs> it tends to um, to all culminate into one experience. You know. Uh, you, you're drinking like there's there's teas that are specific to fall that tastes outstanding just because uh, of the weather outside. There's teas like fruit teas uh, in the spring, where the you know you get you get the, the 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 birds outside are chirping and you know it's a nice day, warm breeze. Uh, you drink a fruit tea that it just it just adds to the experience. This is the kind of tea that you'll want to drink on a cold day in a cold room, maybe with a fire going, and it warms you up completely. I've never really considered that before, you know? Pairing a tea with a room. That's an interesting concept. I think I think something uh, should be should should be done about that. You know, if I could like write an article or something but we'll see. Miriam, welcome. Oh, you just lost so many that's what she said moments. But don't worry, I'm sure you'll you, you'll catch up. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, like I should I should I should see if there's a way to submit an article to uh some sort of, some sort of, um, I don't know, some sort of press or some sort of uh, magazine or something just talking about pairing teas with rooms. Oh yeah, you always do find those, uh, those special moments, even when I miss them. <laughs> oh, <coughs> but, <coughs> but, you know, we'll, <laughs> I'll see if I, I'll, I'll see if I can get some special just for you. Anyway, uh, so just to catch you up, I'm doing uh, Rwandan Mountain Moon Mountain Tea, and it's actually it's actually really strong. It's uh, a little bit stronger than I would have expected, um, because it doesn't have a very imposing uh, imposing scent to it. Uh, it's it's a little bit unassuming before you steep it. Um, I'll I'll actually show you if you guys bear with me just a moment while I check. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so, I uh, was it you were stuck in a horribly organized Jewel Osco? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully, uh, next time you go shopping, you won't, uh, you won't have that kind of experience. Uh, but here we go. So it looks like my tea has dried up. And I'll show you. Now, if you, if you remember what it looked like before I poured it, it was about to here. I I didn't know that uh, that I I thought I didn't have enough, but now look at look at this. It it's all the way up here. If you guys could see my my index finger from here, it grew a lot, and that's why it was a little bit unassuming because when it's small. It didn't release an odor, but when it grew, it released all that flavor. Oh, excuse me. It released all of that flavor, and and it made like a really super strong, um, super strong pot that I was not really expecting. I was thinking it was going to be something along the lines of a Ceylon or uh, or Darjeeling, but um, now that it's like a full cup. And I'm drinking it. It's super duper. What was what was that blah ha 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 for? What did I say? I'm sure I said something. Um, but it, it's it's giving me like a really strong flavor that I was not expecting. 
Mm. Now, I'm really enjoying the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm really enjoying the, um, the, uh, now, Miriam, watch, <laughs> I'm, I'm giving you the, 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 the warning now, brace yourself, I'm really enjoying the mouthfeel on this, like, it's, it's got a, uh, a way of, it, it doesn't necessarily coat the tongue, but, it's like you feel the the warmth, like the warmth of it lingers, um, on your tongue, on your on your like in the back of your throat. Um, that's not always the case with teas. Uh, you usually get that out of chai teas uh, because the spices are left behind and they um, they continue to burn after you after you drink it. What was this? So if this tea was a person, it'd be a short guy. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I wish I would ask it, but unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I don't speak tea. Mm. Now, when you drink it, it like really. <clears throat> you get a strong sensation all over the mouth. Uh, it's a really dark, <clears throat> really, uh, it's really, it's a really dark, um, earthy kind of taste to it. Uh, it's, it's really hard to distinguish. Uh, taller people underestimate short people. I guess, oh, that, that makes sense. <laughs> um, it's, it's like the kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the kind of flavor that, um, it's, it's, how do I put this? It's kind of like a super dark, um, a super dark tea that, uh, yeah, I know you're, uh, you're, you're all like girl power on this thing. Yes, I am, <laughs> you know, but I mean, I have to, this is the kind of things that I have to explore, uh, as I go on because, um, you know, I mean, I'm trying to give you guys the full experience while I'm here. Uh, but like I'm saying, it's got this really strong earthy taste to it um, that you have to kind of treat. You have to kind of treat with caution because if you're not expecting it, um, <clears throat> you don't know what you're getting into, and and you're not going to um, you're not going to enjoy. To the you're not going to go into enjoy it uh, to its fullest, like it's I'm 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 finding it hard to uh, I'm finding it hard to to place the uh, the words because it's like I I'm I'm thinking about this on uh, from a first time taster, you know, and when people drink teas. Uh, and they don't really have much experience. They, they're expecting something like the, the general Lipton tea, you know. I mean, something that's simple and plain, um, and not too not too fancy. But this, <coughs> this is uh, on the border of like a coffee kind of taste to it. Um, it's it's strong, it's smoky, and it's it's really like kind of imposing a little bit. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now it's starting to clear me up, just like last week. Everything is uh, is starting to drain, and that was not a pleasant feeling last week. But it's okay. I'll uh, I power through it, and I'll power through it this uh, this time around too. Oof. Anyway. What was it? And short guys are imposing, I guess. I mean, you're you're talking uh you you're talking a different language. I I have no idea if that's uh, true or not. Ooh. 
But yeah, this stuff is like it's starting to uh, um, it's starting to, to 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 clear me out. I mean, you can see it in my face, and you can hear it uh, when I when I speak. Everything is starting to to break up, which you know, in the long run, is a good thing because I'm trying to get rid of this cold. Uh, but in the short run, when I'm trying to uh, <laughs> try to host a um, a tea tasting, it's a little bit difficult to continue to talk and, you know, like all this stuff is happening back here that nobody wants to think about. So <clears throat> that it is uh, proposing a bit of a challenge for me, not proposing, it is posing a bit of a challenge for me. Mm. But I'm up for it. Whew. <clears throat> now it's starting to start to cool off a little bit, and just as I was uh, afraid of what was going to happen, uh, it's starting to turn. Um, the 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 black tea is turning a little bit bitter um, and a little bit sour, which you know I mean it it happens with black teas, even the best of them, uh, highest qualities. The highest quality tea, uh, teas often have that uh, that problem where, I mean, as good as it is, you have to drink it fast because if you let it cool down too much, it'll just lose its, uh, it'll lose its zing. Um, that's, I mean, there's certain teas that you can, that, that cover the entire spectrum. Uh, this is turning out to not be one of them, which... I mean, I knew that going. I, I knew that going in, but yeah, I'm gonna have to like drink it a little bit faster. Hmm. Whew. Yeah, that that soapiness is starting to um, starting to set in, and it's it's turning a little bit bitter, and you know the bitter and the strong. Um, are not going well together. Uh, it's it tastes it, it's starting to lose its smoothness, um, and it's starting to, to to break down a little bit. Um, and it also might be because uh, I shaved a little bit, and for some reason it's making me more sensitive to the scent of the shaving cream that I used. So I'm kind of tasting that as well. Uh, it's, it's a really strange combination. Uh, maybe, but no, <laughs> I'm not going to give you that, uh, I'm not going to give you that opening. That's what she said. But, um, yeah, it's like, I, I'm, I, I'm tasting a little bit of my, of my shaving cream, uh, or rather shaving gel, like the, the scent of it. I'm I'm smelling it and tasting it at the same time, and it's a little weird. Uh, yeah, like I would say, <laughs> if this was a relationship, it would it would be best if it was like when it's hot, and when it's fast, and when it's exciting. Um, now that it's starting to die down, it's it's getting a little sour, a little bitter, um, and sadly, it looks like it's heading for divorce. So, this is this is the kind of hot little mama that you better drink fast and uh, and move on to the next. That sounded awful. <laughs> that really sounded so bad. Hmm. Woof. <laughs> but it, I mean, it's true. It's like it's starting to. It's starting to turn on me a little bit, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the uh, the pot. Uh, pour some of that out. Oof. There we go. Yeah, because it's starting to uh, just like this tea. What do you mean the, this tea? The the. <coughs> What do you mean this tea, like, uh, the, the, the declining relationship? 
Um, I mean, I still highly recommend it. It's still a delicious tea. Uh, I just highly recommend that you drink it fast. Because it's, 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 it's a little bit, um, it, it, it's, it's a little bit fickle, I want to say. I mean, maybe it's also just a, uh, oh, well, that was strange. I just got like kind of a, a, a of a taste. What was this? Uh, the the longer the relationship, the more they get out of you. Dump it. <laughs> Let's see. Why are you finishing the pot uh, when this tea sucks? Because it doesn't suck. That's what I'm trying to say. Like it, it tastes good, uh, but it's just declining fast. Um, uh, and, and what I was going to mention before was just now, for some reason, I had gotten like this really strong taste of, uh, of dark chocolate. And, um, I think that that might be something to explore. Like, have you, if you've ever had unprocessed, unsweetened chocolate, that's kind of like what it's, uh, what it's starting to taste like. Um, there was a time where I was a kid and, you know, uh, one of our substitute teachers brought in chocolate, but it was unprocessed. It was un, um, it was unsweetened. Like it was just that, that, that little chocolate bar of pure chocolate, uh, of pure cocoa. And it was bitter. It was just, whew. I'm not going to dump it out. I, I am committed to finishing this tea because that's the kind of guy that I am. Mm. I have uh I have yet to um I have yet to to call it a day <laughs> on a, on a tea uh, besides for technical issues. Um but uh, yeah, so my you know what I'm talking about how it's it's just that straight up chocolate without the sugar, without the, um, without the sweetener, without the milk. And it's just like, ah, that's kind of what it's, what it's going, what it's turning towards. So at this point, I mean, I, I would try to either sweeten it, uh, add a little cream, add a little milk, uh, that might, that might do it. Um, but for the integrity of this uh, of this stream, I'm just gonna not do that now. Uh, maybe my second cup, I'll do that uh, when I drink it on my own time. What was it? I'm just ruining it for the kids. I'm not ruining anything. You know, I'm trying to give an honest review. Um, I'm trying to give a uh, a full spectrum because tea tastes do change as you uh, as you go on. You know, I mean, there are some teas that are great all the way through. There are some teas where it declines slowly. There's other teas where it decline, declines quickly. And there's some teas that's just like terrible from beginning to from beginning to end. What is this? I won't put myself through that garbage. Uh, what is this? Oh, I don't. I won't put myself through that. If I don't like it, uh, it uh, in the garbage it goes. I'm not going to dump it and I'm not going to add some cream. One, I don't have any cream. And two, you know, I mean, this is, this is, it's for the sake of education, you know? It's for the sake of telling you guys that, um, you know, what to expect if you ever get across, uh, if you ever come across it uh, and you want to, to, to drink it for yourself. You know, I mean, it's not a bad tea. Uh, not from the beginning. It just takes a little um, takes a little discipline um, to, to 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 drink it when it's cold. You know, I mean, I've had worse teas. I've had better teas. But oh my god, you guys are like <laughs> you just say, oh, it's bad for the second half, so it must suck altogether. It doesn't. I like I started this review. Uh, with positive things. Um, it's just as it... No, I'm not teaching you to tolerate an unhealthy relationship. <laughs> I'm only comparing it to a relationship. 
and I'm giving you a review. And then once this is over, you know, I mean, I can drink it as fast as I want to. Normally, it doesn't take me an hour to drink through an entire uh, an entire cup. So the average person is not going to be like. The average person is not going to be like, oh, I'm going to drink this in an hour. I'll just let it sit and then say, oh, this is terrible. No, they're going to make it. They're going to drink it. And that's going to be the end of that. <laughs> um, yeah, you, it is not worse than Earl Grey. Uh, yes, I am teaching you. Okay, that's my lesson for today. Stay in unhealthy relationships just to please your partner. Are you happy? <laughs> God, you're making me out to be like some sort of maniac. Mm. Oof. And the funny thing is, like, here I am t- <laughs> telling you uh, that it's like it, that it's not so great when it's cold, and then you're like distracting me so that it gets colder as I keep talking. <laughs> so if if anything's unhealthy, it's you. <laughs> you're doing this to me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <coughs> Oh man. Anyway, but yeah, I'm I'm I, like I'm, I'm going back to comparing it to uh, unsweetened chocolate. That's I think a really good um, assessment of it. And you know, some people actually like that. You know, some people like the sweetened chocolate. Uh, there were a couple kids in the class that were like, "Oh, this is good," while everybody else was spitting it out. So if if that's your thing, I'd say this is a great tea for you. Uh, for me, for everybody else, I'd say it's a good tea. Drink it fast. <laughs> you know? Um, it's 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 really not that bad. <laughs> you know, well, this is true. You 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 don't claim to be healthy, but you do uh, you do try. Hmm. Ooh, I am so stuffed right now. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, questions and comments, open up to the floor. Um, I know, Teresa, you want to know what this would pair with. Um, I would say something, it, it needs like a really strong, um, a really strong partner. So I would say maybe like, we'll we'll go with, Steak, uh, cooked well done, with mashed potatoes and gravy, and some, and some asparagus. <laughs> Maybe a raw onion or two. <laughs> no, I wouldn't go with the onion. Hmm. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm actually stuffed myself. Uh, you gotta climb the stairs. Okay, have fun climbing stairs. I'll be uh, I'll be here talking in your ear while you go. Um, uh, announcements. You know what? I'm gonna do a couple of announcements. Uh, I'm going to be at the company party, company Christmas party, holiday holiday party next week. Uh, so I will not be streaming. Um, and you know what? Doggone it, I forgot to start the um I forgot to start the uh the polls. So next week, uh unless you guys want to do it tomorrow, um, but I think that Monday might be better because <clears throat> people are gonna be uh up and around and you know they're gonna want to uh they're gonna be more aware of Facebook. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, for all you, for all you friends who are working at that time. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And you're like, screw this job, I'm going on Facebook. That's, <laughs> I got the hiccups. Anyway, that's the people who are going to vote on the, uh, on the charities that we're going to do for charity month. Um, I'm going to sit down this weekend and, uh, put my challenges together. Uh, and then once the, uh, <coughs> once charity month, uh, begins, I'll be able to show you guys <coughs> what I will be doing at each tier. 
So I'm going to be taking this month. I've already got the, uh, what did I say, 20? I've already got the 20 uh, charities uh, listed. So I'll be ready to, to post those uh, four at a time uh, for the next five weeks. And then, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, for the next five weeks. No, five at a time for four weeks. I don't know. What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer five at a time for four weeks or four at a time for five weeks? Uh, oh, you know what? No, I, it has to be four, uh, four, uh, four at a time. Yeah, because, uh, for that fifth week is going to be the, um, let me see. No, for the sixth week, it's going to be the last four people, uh, the last four, uh, winners. Yeah, so for the next six weeks, uh, I'll be doing the polls and we'll be, we'll be getting all the information together. And once we have that, we'll be good to go. So remember, keep tuned in, um, and we'll, we'll get everything sorted out for charity month. And then the real fun begins. I'm going to be counting on all of you to spread the word, uh, share my, my statuses once we, uh, once we get the, uh, the, the, the charity picked. Uh, I'm going to count on you to, uh, to go out and, and like share my status. Uh, we'll, we'll be, you know, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, you know, contribute yourself. Um, if I have about a hundred people, I have over a hundred people on the community and if everybody gives $10, we'll hit that thousand dollar mark for nothing, you know? So $10 goes a long way. Uh, 10 times a hundred, that's all we need. Um, or we could get people from everywhere to, to join in. You know, I mean, I'm looking to really make a, uh, a difference in one of these, <coughs> in one of these, uh, oh, excuse me, in one of these charity, uh, events. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Uh, so... We'll be. I'll, I'll, I'm going to push it to the best of my ability, and once we hit that thousand dollar mark, it's going to be awesome. Oh, I need to clear out my throat a bit. Mm. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, questions, comments, anything you want to throw at me? This is uh, last call. I think I have. About one more sip left. I'll be chugging it and then I can go to bed knowing that I did my best. <laughs> and I endured for the sake of you guys, the children. <laughs> we made this relationship work. And now that the kids are in college, we can get a divorce. <laughs> anyway, alright, last call. I'm, I'm chugging this down. Oof. Oh, I'm stuffed. All right, I guess it's uh, time to call it a night. Thank you guys for joining me once again, and I will see you in two weeks. Uh, once again, keep on checking out the, uh, the community board, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted on the new things that are coming up. All right, have a great weekend.